Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of how I made this halter dress. Um, make sure to check out part one. I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to put it on fold. And I'm literally going to cut a triangle. So I'm going to take my measuring tape and put it at the top corner of the fold and then go down the edge of that fabric. Um, I made it about 60 inches, just a tad bit longer really, but I ended up shortening it anyway. So I'm just cutting it out and once I get to the bottom, I'm going to kind of curve it a little bit. So to start assembling this train, right, I'm going to cut that top piece off a few inches. And then once I do that, I'm going to hem all the way around. I'm going to hem the sides, the top, and the bottom. And I just, I just did a double fold. And then I did a straight stitch. I ended up using a narrow rolled hem foot, which made this process much faster. You're going to just pleat the top of the train. I did about three or four pleats and I pinned them in place. And then I sewed with a straight stitch. You can do it right on top of the first stitch where you hemmed, but I just did it with a straight stitch. And then I pinned it on my mannequin just so that I could, you know, see, see what it was given. Um, and I hated it. So, <laughs> so I just took my scissors and I just cut and made it a little more rounded. And that was much better. So I'm going to use these clear snaps that I got from Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description box. And I used um, two snaps on one on each end. And I'm just, you know, seeing. Because I honestly, I didn't know what I was going to do. How I was going to make it detachable. Honestly, I just, I just figured it out. So I'm going to place it where I want it. And then I'm going to, I hand sewed it in place. So to add the snaps to my train. So this is very hard to explain. But I will try my best. So first I'm going to go through my fabric and then I'm going to go through the hole that is on the snaps. And then I'm going to go back through the loop that I made, but between those two threads. That's what I'm going to do first. That's my very first stitch. Then once I do that, I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing. I'm gonna go through the fabric, go through the hole, and then I'm gonna make a loop just to tighten it. And I did about three loops in each hole. And then on my last loop, I would do like a double loop. So I would loop through that little loop that I made. I would loop through that loop twice just for security purposes. And you can see me looping through the loop that I made here. And I'm just going to continue to do that all the way around. And there's about two and a half inches and I'm literally going to make sure that it's two and a half inches on the skirt. So here you see me with the pin on the snap. So before I, I hand sewed the second one, I wanted to make sure that it lined up. So I did try it on. 
And then I wanted to see the weight of it. Would the two snaps hold the weight? Would I need three? I would definitely recommend doing that. So then I'm just going to hand sew, do exactly what I did on the train, on the skirt. And then here you just see me testing it out, putting it on, taking it off, making sure it's, you know, that it's working out. And make sure that you check out part one to see how I actually constructed the dress. But thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you guys so much.